Item number, SCP-7179. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. As SCP-7179 is unable to be accessed or witnessed through non-anomalous means, containment is not required. Description. SCP-7179 refers to an unknown number of cubic extradimensional spaces, measuring approximately 10 kilometers on each edge. Upon any human's death, their consciousness is transported to an instance of SCP-7179, where they will physically re-manifest in the same state as they were upon death, except in perfect health. Based on limited observation and experimentation, there are no known cases of human death where the consciousness does not appear in an SCP-7179. Aside from insignificant differences between each of them, instances of SCP-7179 are functionally identical. Each space is an oceanic environment with a single tropical island in the center. The environment of the space remains at a consistent temperature, one which is of adequate comfort to the deceased individual. Furthermore, SCP-7179 instances never display stormy or otherwise violent weather, and the sun perpetually remains directly above the island, leaving it in eternal daytime. As there seems to be no natural wind in SCP-7179, there is no natural water activity, either. Individuals attempting to leave an SCP-7179 instance will simply end up on the opposite edge of the same space, with SCP-7179 acting as a functional omnilock. Additionally, the passage of time within SCP-7179 is highly inconsistent with that of baseline reality. Plant life in SCP-7179 bears several different species of edible, tropical fruits. Other fruits of unknown species are also present, which are analogous to substances such as alcohol, methamphetamine, and cocaine. Animal life includes several varieties of tropical birds, butterflies, and a few instances of domestic pigs. On the coast of each island is a beach house, which contains various amenities and furniture for sustainable living. Each house is home to up to three human beings of sexual preference to the inhabitant. These beings seemingly bear no will of their own and are completely loyal to the deceased, but are otherwise completely identical to normal humans. Injuries suffered by humans within SCP-7179 heal at a normal rate, although death is impossible. Seemingly fatal injuries are thus recoverable, albeit quite painfully. Addendum 7179.1 the Department of Tactical Theology was able to fully observe an instance of SCP-7179 using the experimental Intelligent Soul Interface Construct Dante.ISIC. The construct is mimetic in nature, and fuses with the consciousness via the new sphere, allowing data to be relayed back to the physical world. Footnote 1. The opposite, transferring data to the construct or the deceased, is not possible. Dante.ISIC was covertly applied to Paul Hiddleston, a 34-year-old man diagnosed with untreatable brain cancer. Hiddleston perished shortly after the construct was applied, and his consciousness was transported to SCP-7179. Arrival Hiddleston arrives on his instance of SCP-7179. He is standing next to a small beach house. Three women, appearing to be in their mid-twenties, walk out of the house to greet him. After gaining his composure and becoming accustomed to SCP-7179, Hiddleston finds himself comfortable and begins to engage in frequent pleasurable activities, such as eating, drinking, drug use, and sexual intercourse. Two years. Over time, Hiddleston starts to drink and partake in mind-altering fruits with much greater frequency, more than any other activities. Three years. Hiddleston starts neglecting to eat at all for considerable periods of time. He occasionally attempts to converse with the women on the island, but is frustrated by their lack of agency or individuality. Five years. Hiddleston ceases his former activities altogether, spending much of his time wandering SCP-7179. Six years. 
Hiddleston becomes panicked and attempts to leave SCP-7179, building a raft from one of the island's trees. Each time he reaches the edge of SCP-7179, he appears on the opposite side. After several attempts, Hiddleston collapses in despair for multiple days until he regains his composure and continues his prior activities. Seven years. Hiddleston uses the wildlife and plant life on the island to begin pursuing culinary activities. He constructs basic farms and pens to keep and breed animals. His mental state improves as he continues to develop his skills. 18 years. Hiddleston has become an expert in cooking, having both replicated dishes from memory and created new ones. He shows no signs of ceasing as he begins attempting to crossbreed various plants. 37 years. Hiddleston continues his endeavors, though he begins to show signs of weariness and boredom. 81 years. Hiddleston has once again regressed into a depressive state. He seeks out other ways to occupy his time and eventually begins studying construction. He starts building tools and equipment for building. 101 years. After a great deal of trial and error, Hiddleston assembles his first house. He continues building. 287 years. Through a constant maintaining of trees and frequent building projects, Hiddleston is able to cover the island with rudimentary structures. He then focuses his efforts towards maintaining and upgrading the structures until he has mastered their fortification. 416 years. Hiddleston, through study, experimentation, and experience, has managed to fully fortify each structure into usable housing. He begins expanding his structures, adding extra stories and decor, as well as building various watercraft. 850 years. Hiddleston's efforts slowly start winding down again as his ability to produce lumber and harvest natural resources reaches equilibrium with his construction expansion. He starts to tear down and rebuild structures in new ways, remixing them over centuries. 2009 years. Despite his frequent activity, Hiddleston shows worsening symptoms of depression and anxiety and he starts to seriously consider the concept of endless life in SCP-7179. His mental state continues to degrade as he searches for ways to keep a sound mind. 5,478 years. Hiddleston starts tearing through his structures without reason. The whole village is torn down after several months. He starts rebuilding again. 11,902 years. Hiddleston attacks the three women, tearing their bodies apart. He shows symptoms of severe stress after doing so, and attempts but fails to take his own life by drowning himself. He continues to build over time, but intersperses his projects with bodily harm to himself. 19,600 years. The three women are fully reassembled. By this point, Hiddleston has grown numb to the concept of violence and begins bodily experimentation on them. 124,000 years. Hiddleston builds a crude structure designed to crush him to death under the weight of several thousand tons of lumber and stone. Upon activation, it completely mangles and destroys his body. 900,000 years. Hiddleston is fully healed. While the experience appears to have been unbearably painful for him, the stimulus allows him relief from the boredom. He repeats the process in multiple different fashions. 5.8 million years. Hiddleston burns himself alive. His body is fully reduced to ashes before the fire naturally dissipates. 16 million years. Hiddleston is fully healed. He makes many similar self-destructive attempts upon himself, but each time grows more numb to the experience. 8.5 billion years. Hiddleston tries to leave. He fails. 30 billion years. Hiddleston looks towards the sun. It has not set. 1 trillion years. Hiddleston ceases physical activity, as no experience is able to provide him with new stimuli. 
50 octillion factorial years. Footnote 2, a number too large to ever represent in standard notation. All potential permutations of particles within SCP-7179 have been theoretically reached. Google factorial years. One second of eternity has passed. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Lesby Friends, Alexis the Great, Everborn, Joe Light, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.